Hey guys, it's Steve Lee. I'm back here again with another Divi CSS uh, quick tip. So today's is really uh, today's is really special. It's really exceptional, um, not just in its simplicity, but in the impact that it has on your site overall. Today we're going to be talking about the 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 scroll bar on any website. It's not even um, necessarily a Divi thing. Uh, this can be done on any website. So. Uh, what we're talking about is changing the color of the scroll bar thumb and the scroll, scroll bar track and the width of the scroll bar on your website. So right now uh, I'm using Google Chrome and it just it comes with this default kind of off gray and gray scroll bar that doesn't do a whole lot of anything for me besides take up valuable real estate on a, on a screen, on a design. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up changing it into something like this, uh, into, uh, we're going to change the background. We're going to change the color of the thumb. And I get it. This is a little extreme for this website, this black and, uh, and hot pink, uh, scroll bar thumb, but it's really just for demonstration purposes, uh, to show you what can be done here uh, with your websites. So let's get right into it. I don't want to take any more time, uh, talking about what it is. Let's let the, uh, the code do the work here. I'm going to go into our, um, Divi CSS, uh, I'm sorry, our Divi theme options and scroll down to the custom CSS tab, uh, area here. And I've already got this code in the description below and it's already marked up. You don't have to do anything besides copy and paste this code into your custom CSS area and then uh, change your color. So <clears throat> here I've got this, uh, there's three lines of code here, uh, WebKit scroll bar, scroll bar track, and then scroll bar thumb. Now talking about the anatomy of the scroll bar, um, the, this isn't something that, that most people typically deal with on a daily basis, but there is an anatomy to a scroll bar. There is the scroll bar thumb, which is this hot pink color right here when we're, uh, when we're scrolling. And uh, that's called the thumb, kind of like the thumb on your hand, like your finger. And then the, the scroll bar track is the background. And uh, those are really the main components of this code. The, the third one is the width, and we can actually even um, make this a little thinner or wider. Again, this is real estate on your screen. And uh, taking a 20 pixel scroll bar down to a 10, it's giving you a, you know, the whole right side of your screen is, is widening with that. So um, be mindful of that and, and use it judiciously. On the WebKit scroll bar track, the uh, background color here, this 202020 is the, the black color of the background that you see here. And you can change that to anything you want. Uh, with with any hexadecimal code, and then the uh, the code I've got here FC four B one is that hot pink color, which I probably won't end up keeping on this site. Uh, we're going to experiment around with that a little bit and uh, how we can best use it, but um, that's what we've got for the demonstration today. So uh, all you got to do is save changes, and uh, we'll do this live here. I'll uh, I'll pop out of here into the website and you can see those changes took place. So there you have it guys. That's uh, that's the quick tip for today. I try not to go over uh, three minutes or so for these videos uh, just because I know your time is valuable and uh, I, I hope this was helpful for you. If you've got any requests or anything you'd like to see um, to, to style your websites, please feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, or check us out on the Divi CSS Share Facebook group. Um, just go to Facebook and then in your search bar type Divi CSS share and, and you'll find us. We'd love to have you there. So that's all I've got. Uh, any questions, let me know. Otherwise have a great night. Have a good one. Bye-bye.